a special one-off occasion to bring you coverage of tonight it's the final of the Europa League it's Chelsea up against Arsenal well night games European football where does it get any better well it does if you're in the final but with finals they're horrible if you lose make sure you win if you get here This is how it looks for Chelsea. Thiago Silva plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And in attack, it's the very pacey Timo Werner. And so the starting oh, 11 God. for Arsenal. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. David Luiz starts alongside Socrates in central defence. Lucas Torreira plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And leading the line today is the hard to defend against Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. It is the Europa League final and they are underway. Conte. Jorginho here's Chilwell here is Zuma Aspiliqueta well the attack promising as it was scuppered there now Lacazette Thomas Chelsea throw in here Kai Havertz, Werner, Conte, good vision, can he get on to this? Can they take the lead? Well, body in the way. And now the delivery, and a half-baked clearance. And Conte in the vicinity. Not really the ideal clearance. Leno would have been disappointed had he not held on. Now Lacazette. Kieran Tierney. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. Lee, what are you expecting from him? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look but what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Socrates. Lacazette. Cutting in. What could he do from this position? Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. Taken short. Ozil. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Now, Lacazette. Lacazette making the move. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Playing it short. 
Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Couldn't hang on to it. Kai Havertz. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. This is Aspili Quetta. Werner. David Luiz coming out on top. Giving it a try. Tremendous block. William. Space and time for Arsenal. It needs an accurate cross. Lacazette here. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. Jorginho. And you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. Partey. Running with the ball confidently. An abundance of space. And Lacazette. Back from the byline. Rifled against the post, but back in play. Off the frame of the goal earlier, but now the keeper has it and can exhale. David Seaman always said the woodwork was his best friend. Certainly helped the keeper out there. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's little between these two teams. It's been a real tight, cagey effect. Havertz! Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. And they do like to press whenever they can. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Arsenal couldn't keep the ball. Ziyech. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Thomas now. Here is William. He's enjoying space. Obama Young waiting. Keeper's contribution, but what next? Might be able to get in behind the defence. There will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Now Lacazette. Ozil. Well, the cross came over, and with that, they take the lead! Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. The fans are starting to believe it's theirs. Well, what a time to score. The forwards are in absolute dreamland. The defenders slugging their way back to the half-time team tour. They're not going to enjoy this. Back underway, Arsenal with the lead. Half time, and from the neutral point of view, a cracking first half in this UEFA Europa League final. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Tierney. Now Lacazette. Useful cross towards the near post. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, you will concede less goals if you stop the crosses. On this occasion, they don't, and they pay the ultimate penalty. The ball's in the back of the net. Stop the cross. A chance to revisit the goal. Yeah. 
so 2-0 now. Goal, number 10, Mesut Ozil. Jorginho. They've regained possession. Beautiful pass. Lacazette. He has time to play it over. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Here's Chilwell. Kai Havertz. Pulisic now. Conte. They do pass the ball with authority. Oh, it's off the post! Danger averted for now. Substitution time it is. Jorginho. And Golo Conte. Far from a good pass. Well, Arsenal had total domination as far as possession is concerned. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. Havertz. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Chilwell. Kai Havertz. Jorginho. And he was in the right place to intercept. Weighted ball from Aubameyang. In full control of the ball here. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? And it's in for Chelsea. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. Well, 2-1 is... So two substitutes to come on in one go. Lucas Torreira now. The ball with David Luiz. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Lacazette, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. This might have potential. Crossed into the penalty area, and the keeper acquitted himself well. Yeah, it was a good ball in, wasn't it? But the keeper did everything right. With their noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? With a narrow lead and the clock ticking, it's so easy for the Arsenal players to lose concentration. An easy meet for the keeper, given that cross. Oh, he's given it away. Promising sequence. Aubameyang at the ready. Staunch rear guard action. Corner kick played in, foiling them effectively. Pepe. Aspini Quetta on high alert. And possession lost, intercepted. This is Ozil. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Useful cross towards the near post. Still possibilities. Conte. It's a weighted pass. And the danger clear.
Aspili Quetta. Mateo Kovacic. Kai Havertz. It is a decent looking attack here. Oh, can you get your heads around this? Just when we thought it might be done and dusted, it's level again. Well, the fans were starting to think it was over. Not now. Another twist, maybe, Derek. Well, here's the replay. What a time to score, Derek. Kept his cool so late in the game. Easy to snatch at that one. Is there time for a winner? Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. Goals are plenty. 2-2. Two, two. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. It's got to be! Lightning fast reflexes to preserve the parity. I thought it was going to be the winner, but hats off to the keeper. Corner put in by superb piece of goalkeeping to prevent them from falling behind. Oh, top keeping that is. Top, top keeping. Well done. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Can they take the lead? This has the potential to stretch sinews and minds. Tiredness can be a factor as the first period of extra time commences. A bit scruffy with the ball, Kovacic. Lots of space for Arsenal. Effective challenge. Here's Kovacic. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Mateo Kovacic. On the ball, Aspili Quetta. Now, let's see what they can do here. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. He got nothing but ball. He's conceded the corner. He's driven in the corner. Insufficient accuracy as regards the corner. Whatever it takes to keep them out. A bit sloppy in possession. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. A chance to whip it in. Pulls it back. It comes to nothing. Conte now. Ball's gone. Arsenal succeeding in getting the ball forward. What can they do from this position? The fourth official has indicated there will be a They have been Lacazette! Promising sequence. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, body in the way. Classy goalkeeping. Well, it was a good save from the goalkeeper, but you'd expect him to make that save, wouldn't you? was a very good looking half time in extra time and still they are level can they take the Can they overcome tired legs? It's the second period of extra time underway now. Nketiah has it. 
Now Lacazette. Kieran Tierney. Ozil. The pass from Ozil devoured. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Hector Bellerino. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Unrelenting pressure, but what next? Conte. Giroud. He's in control of the situation. It's with Socrates. Now Bellerin. Nicola Pepe. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time. If nothing changes, it will be decided by means of a penalty shootout. Well, Arsenal have lost the ball here. Ozil. And a chance for him on the flank. And the cross is very much on. Alexandre Lacazette at the back post. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of one minute. Bayerine giving them a different option by moving in field. Stout defending by Aspili Quetta. An epic Europa League final. Two evenly matched teams. And now, can they take the... And this will test the mentality of any footballer. And he succeeds in finding the bottom corner. An ex-penalty taker myself. I love it when it goes in the net. Can he keep us cool? And he's opted for finesse, but not the desired result, Lee. Well, that's just not very good at all. In it goes. Well, that's why players practice penalties in training. Can he convert? And he scores! Well, don't they look easy when they go in? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Bread and butter, Derek, bread and butter. And he steps up to take his penalty. And he's taken the low road, beautifully done. Well, he picked a corner, head down, good penalty. And it's gone in. Well, the sweet sound of the ball hitting the net. It won't be lost on him. What's at stake here? He knows he's got to score. A Panenka penalty and a brilliant goal. Oh, I'd run away from the goalkeeper now if I were you. It comes down to this. A goal and they win the game. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves of steel are needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? But the end result is there for all to see. What a night. Well, they're not going to forget this sort of hurry. A proud moment but for the losers. It's a case of trying to forget about everything that has just occurred. Well, just a point, Derek. Always be respectful of the losers. Yes, you're in raptures. You're celebrating with your mates. Always took time to go to the opposition and say, unlucky. The party has started. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward to moments like this. And they've finally got their hands 
on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure, Derek. It's going to go on and on. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. And this is really special, getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team. Now they get to join in the celebrations, go into the crowd and give them the cup. That's what I say. Well, then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet, Lee.